Give me my wizard. Woo! On the defending side, there's a term called temporary positions. An example of this would be either brackets or banana on Inferno, where the CT side will have to fall back inevitably if there's enough attacker's utility and aggression. So to identify these temporary parts of the map, you can watch your games like demos and pay attention to the minimap, or you can use various third-party tools to find where the most grenades are actually thrown. So personally, the tool that my friends and I use is called Leadify. Leadify is a free tool that provides insights as to how you're doing throughout the map, it provides match reports with a rating system, and even breaks down how each round went after the game. Just like me, you can also drag your friends into a club in order to have some bragging rights, and there's a leaderboard that constantly updates. If you don't already use Shadowplay or any other software to record your clips, Leadify also has an automatic highlights feature that you can use. Thanks to Leadify for sponsoring this video, and you can try it out for free in the link in the description below. Since Banana is the temporary position of B, once you're forced away, you need to decide between either sitting back and passively defending from sight, or trying to aggress with utility and retake towards banana. The most common retake is standing here and throwing like a half wall smoke or a car molly and then challenging. The only problem is that, as you see, this position is way in the open and pretty much everybody can see you when you're setting up. So instead of doing it from here, you can come into the front of new box right here so it's closer to cover. You can look at the top left of this metal rectangle on the wall and jump throw your smoke. And then you can look at this second nub over to the left and look at the, the light face of it and then just jump throw your Molotov. As you see what this will do is it'll molly all the corners in front of the smoke so that someone has to either challenge you through the molly or go behind the smoke and then secede the position. Another way of doing it if you want to retake past the half wall is you can come into this corner right here and look into the middle of this kind of circle on the wall and then just jump through your smoke. That's going to smoke towards logs. And then if you look for this rectangle right here and then just look in the middle of it, you can run through your Molotov so that it goes behind this half wall position. So no one can stand in front of the smoke. And as you see, this is the only person that can survive. So what you can do there is you can, if you're in the shadow right here, you can aim at the bottom part of these bricks and then just throw a, s a flash like this and then peek towards anybody that's going to be challenging you. And this is just a, a good way of retaking the banana and dealing with any sort of counter aggression. Brackets is another temporary spot. We're going to have to choose between either initially fighting and getting information to see if the T's are aggressing, or waiting for their utility to come in and then playing retake after that. A cool trick that not a lot of players know about is that if you kick up dirt behind a smoke, you can actually see silhouettes. So if you come into this corner right here, and then you look for this part on the wall, this mark, and then look at the left side of it and throw your smoke. And then in the same spot, crouch and look for this dot. And without moving your crosshair, walk to the left until your crosshair is vertically in line with this, uh, the corner of this building here. And then you just throw your nade. As you see, it'll kick up all the dirt and you can see everyone behind the smoke and have information that way. And if a smoke comes towards arch and you have to kind of leave brackets, you can retake it by running into this corner of this cubby, looking at this nub, at the middle of this nub and this slanted portion on the ceiling, and jump throwing your smoke. And that's just going to go into the opening of brackets towards mid. You can then come onto the top of these stairs here and look at the bottom uh, right of this window and take a good running step throw. As you see, what it'll do is it's going to bleed into this boiler position so no one can peek you there and nobody can push short either. So you can actually just actively challenge towards brackets. And this is a two good ways to deal with brackets aggression and just have a way more comfortability when it comes to the A site. 